Please like and subscribe to channel if you enjoy the video. Wife cheated on me, wants to reconcile. I 100% wanted to as well, until heavier news dropped. So my wife 30F, cheated on me, 34. She wrote a heartfelt letter to confess to me. We were going through some problems during the pandemic. We were so happy together for 8 years, got married. She started her program to study abroad for 2 years. I got stuck here in US working 2 jobs in healthcare. I had instances where I have mishandled arguments where I yelled at her in public forever traumatizing her. I promised to work on my emotional reactivity during conflicts. But during our great distance she had grown withdrawn from me. And it was harder to get through to her. I had to work so hard to get her see my changes in behavior and I stopped smoking and that was one vice of mine that says sent her over the edge. So two days again she wrote the heartfelt letter which revealed she cheated on me and she was remorseful for it and that it happened once. I was crushed and didn't know what to do. I was taking my time and thinking of reconciling. When I started to talk about repairing the relationship, she drops the news that she's pregnant and that it's been since April. She wants to come home to me and wants the AP to have nothing to do with the child. I was seriously ready to reconcile because I was willing to let her show me that she wanted to work on us. But the heavy news of this pregnancy is hitting different. And she is looking more remorseful than ever as I talk to her. And she's telling me that she wants to reconcile, but I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Is there a specific kind therapist I can seek at this time? I have the hardest decision to make soon. Edit I wanted to post the heartfelt letter here to get your opinions about it. My friends have all given me their opinions but I want to see what you guys think. Names changed for obvious reasons. Note, she mentions someone named Sasha. Sasha is my weed connect. I used food emojis for my Venmo payments to him make it seem I was paying back for food. She thought this was someone I was talking to behind her back. We previously had a huge fight about it. My dearest husband, the only way I know how to begin this letter is to tell you how proud and happy I am to know that you're in the process of bettering yourself. I could not ask for anything more than to see my partner and best friend want to be the best version of himself. It's what I've always prayed for and have been so hopeful for all these years and finally my prayers are being answered. Please know that although I know I cannot truly influence these decisions, I have always been here for you day by day, by your side, just weathering the storms with you, trying so hard not to lose hope. Hopefully we can both look back on these times and let it fuel our love for each other like never before. Being so strong that we could truly weather any storm, all while avoiding them together, all at the same time because we would, would just be too preoccupied with being happy that we found each other again. Unfortunately, over the years I've come to realize that I haven't truly known the man I married. The process of waiting and being hopeful of change got me thinking, do I even know the real you? What is my husband like sober? The feeling of being with you for so long yet not knowing who you really are and getting this less than likable version of you, struck me to my core. Made me fearful. Got me thinking if I would ever get the chance to really know my husband for who he really is and celebrate that person for the rest of my years. Or do I just eject myself from the situation in order to keep what's left of me? The beginning of last year is when I started not only to lose hope for us, but also myself. I began to lose all of me. Started to blame myself for all unfortunate events that would take place in our marriage. Your smoking habit, anger issue, yelling, you not wanting transparency and communication in our marriage, you not being mentally present. I know I am not perfect but sadly I could go on. But this was also the time I found out about Sasha. I may know the story now, but at the time all I could picture was my husband with another woman. Taking her out to brunch, dinner, etc. In my head thinking, what more are they doing? Are there more sashes? Since when? Why? Taking this in on top of everything I'm already going through. Am I not enough? All my insecurities, depression and anxiety at an all-time high. The dream of having a beautiful life with you could no longer be pictured in my head. So I went on that whole year trying to avoid my problems and fears, which was the main reason of avoiding you, all while trying desperately to keep my head above water. Out of fear, rather than confronting you, I just checked out of our marriage. In all aspects. I figured since you have, I should too. I knew that if it didn't come from within or out of pure will, you would not change. Last year was the toughest year of my life. 
I am really truly surprised that I'm still here, breathing, to be in such a dark place for so long, which I'm still in, I wouldn't wish it for anybody. The only solution I could find within myself was to permanently detach myself. I was mentally preparing to divorce you. My love, it's even hard to even put this into words without breaking down. I have fought for you for us, for so long. All I needed was you to fight with me. To give me some glimmer of hope that we could turn it all around so I could give you my 100%. Just like before, but a better version. That's all I want. I want to give you my best but it can't be a one-way street. I need you to be in it with me giving me your 100% as well. My hopes of ever getting that were depleted. I completely spiraled out of control. One way was with alcohol. Being checked out and seeing divorce between us made me hit rock bottom. I mean the biggest mistake that a partner could make. No matter. How much I want to blame the mistreatment from you and thinking you were doing the same with Hala but on a regular basis. I know this was not something you ever deserved. No one deserves. Even having the circumstances around it being it was a one-time thing and there is no relationship, no connection till this day, even being fully recognized by both parties that it was 100% a mistake overshadowed by alcohol and recklessness. So meaningless, it's something both of us can barely recall. To the point where neither is to ever speak of it, and to just move on with our lives and pretend like nothing happened. But it did, and I'm coming forward to be transparent with you because I now have hope for us that I didn't have before. I haven't exactly been the easiest to deal with. It's hard living with myself knowing that despite sticking through all these hardships, my actions could very well be what breaks us. I know at this moment you will feel a rage rush through you like no other, I would know. Because that's how I felt after finding out about Sasha. I let that rage marinate inside of me, slowly killing me from the inside out. Please find it in yourself to dig deep and recognize that we both have come so far just by the mere fact that we are still here. Neither of us has not given up. We are both allowing our love for each other guide us through these hard times to hopefully come out stronger than ever. You are still my only love and you always have been. Even with my mistakes, I still see no one else but you and always have. With both of us spiraling, I was fully set on divorce. Until I saw and felt a glimmer of hope from you. Which is all I needed to forget about everything in the past and move forward with you. Since day one, I have loved you with my whole being despite everything. I want to continue to love you, be your person and fulfill the vows we made. I believe that our marriage can be stronger and we can be our best versions not only for ourselves but for each other. But the real question now is if you still want to be my person. If you will still accept me for my flaws and mistakes and be able to move forward with me. Build a beautiful life with me like we've always wanted. Before writing this letter I have come to terms with myself that there's a chance that you will not be as forgiving as me. If you want to part ways, this is something I will fully understand. We both have literally been growing up with each other over the past decade. So much growing pains but also so much love and laughter. Memories that will be a part of me forever and I will always be grateful for. All of it helped us grow. At least if we cannot be the best for each other. This learning process has made us want to be better for ourselves. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the story, please like and subscribe to the channel.